AI and robotics continue to advance, which they are advancing very rapidly. Like I said, working will be optional, um, and people will have any goods and services that they want. Elon Musk just released the newest demo video of the Tesla bot Optimus, and honestly, it might be the most insane demo we've ever seen. Proof of just how incredibly fast this company is leveling up their humanoid robot. Just earlier this year, people were joking about its walking, comparing it to Biden, a toddler learning to walk, or someone stumbling after too many drinks. But now, just take a look at this latest demo video. Oh my god, the running posture, the incredible speed, the stride length, everything looks exactly like a real human being. Now, compare that to those Chinese or Russian robots. They move like they just finished an intense leg workout and are about to collapse at any second. The difference compared to Tesla is absolutely massive. Elon Musk is clearly pushing incredibly hard to speed up development so Optimus can hit the market next year. And here's where it gets even crazier. Another fresh demo video showing the Tesla bot's hand has everyone asking just how far Tesla actually plans to push this robot. Look at how smoothly those fingers move. Absolutely incredible dexterity. We'd bet real money it could actually glide across piano keys, exactly like Elon Musk talked about before. Our next generation has 22 degrees of freedom. Um, it will be able to play the piano. So, it's it's really like, wow. Elon Musk has always stressed that the Optimus hand is the part of the entire project that burns through the most money and effort. But in the near future, this very robotic hand will transform human labor forever. As Musk explained, working will be completely optional. Work will turn into a hobby. If you hate doing something, the Tesla bot will handle it for you. Okay, so through all those different tasks, the robot will generate income and all you need to do is wait for it to bring the paycheck home. That idea alone makes millions of people desperate to own a Tesla bot. So, how exactly will the Tesla bot take over in 2026? Could a Terminator-style scenario actually happen? And could it become even smarter than humans? These are the newest updates on the development progress of Optimus Gen 3, and you absolutely don't want to miss them. If AI, if AI and robotics are powerful enough to satisfy all human needs, then, then money is no longer, its relevance declines dramatically. Yeah, we constantly worry that someday robots will steal our jobs and we'll all end up jobless. But if you think about it more positively, like the reality that we soon won't need to do household chores anymore, we'll have way more time to chill. And that situation is clearly much more realistic. Elon Musk once explained that whenever you arrive home after a long and exhausting workday, almost all your housework will already be handled by Optimus. From cleaning, cooking, mopping to folding laundry, everything will be finished. Even though this might not happen next year, Musk has constantly emphasized that for everyone to actually afford an Optimus, the final price of the robot will be around $20,000 because he understands that anything higher would make Optimus truly out of reach. I mean, ultimately I mean, I think I think they'll be will be making tens of millions of robots a year type of thing. It's like serious volume. Maybe a 100 million robots a year. It's wild. Sounds good. Elon Musk's target is to manufacture millions of Optimus units every year, possibly even tens of millions, and eventually distribute billions of robots across the globe. Yeah, of course. To hit that target, the robot really needs to convince billions of customers. Because let's be real, nobody is going to spend their hard-earned money on a machine that only knows how to dance and wander around the house all day. So before Optimus reaches everyday consumers, it will require major upgrades to achieve superior intelligence along with more flexible mobility. If you're enjoying this breakdown, make sure to hit that subscription button for Tech Drive right now so you don't miss any future updates on the most advanced robotics and AI technology. Trust me, you'll want to stay in the loop. Musk has constantly emphasized that everything is still improving, especially the robot's walking speed. Tesla doesn't want their robot to shuffle around slowly but they need time to make significant breakthroughs since the initial target was to allow the robot to move at up to 5.5 miles per hour. However, the newest demo video reveals that the Tesla bot can actually run at 6.8 miles per hour with a running posture that's about 99% human-like. 
Yeah, this is the slowed down demo footage. Every single stride of the Tesla bot looks incredibly natural, and there are even moments where both of its feet are almost completely off the ground. This gait is similar to human biomechanics when running. You need to combine deep knee flexion and landing on the ball of your foot with a natural torso rotation. If its running speed is around 6.8 miles per hour, we estimate that the Tesla bot's current walking speed could reach about 4 to 4.5 miles per hour which is roughly 1.8 to 2.0 meters per second. Truly remarkable. Normally, a humanoid robot needs to walk at about 2.5 miles per hour to be genuinely useful for navigating a home or a factory. Anything slower would just be way too slow. You know, a slower movement speed can hurt its competitiveness, especially since most buyers, including ourselves, prioritize a robot that moves with real agility. This speed doesn't just show the efficiency of its joints and actuators, but also the coordination between its sensors and battery system. A speed of 6.8 miles per hour might sound simple for a human, but for a humanoid robot, this is a huge achievement. Because running is one of the toughest movements, it demands extremely precise balance algorithms, force control, and sensor feedback. What's even more mind-blowing is that Optimus running form looks pretty natural. Long strides, short ground contact time, and a stable upper body. This proves that the motion control system on the Tesla robot is working incredibly effectively. If you compare how Optimus moved back when it was first introduced in 2021 compared to now, you can clearly see that Elon Musk has invested a massive amount of money into achieving this level of progress. And it further confirms Tesla's determination to commercialize the robot globally, you know, but AC3PO plus R2D2 plus, you know, plus plus. Um, it would be pretty awesome. I think I think everyone in the world is going to want one. But I, I think like next year and my prediction is next year we'll have over over a thousand maybe a few thousand Optimus robots working at Tesla. Besides mobility, Tesla has also revealed the fine manipulation capabilities of Optimus hands through detailed videos. This is an area where humanoid robots typically face the biggest limitations because it demands a large number of small actuators, simultaneous control, and high sensitivity. In the new demo, Optimus fingers move noticeably more smoothly, faster open-close speeds, more natural coordination across multiple finger joints, and the ability to perform delicate actions like rotating joints, pinching, and pulling. These movements closely match the demos shown at Tesla's shareholder meeting in November 2024, indicating that Tesla is gradually finalizing the hand design and entering the refinement stage rather than still experimenting like before. This is a powerful sign that Optimus is no longer just a research project. It's transforming into a product with a defined production roadmap. What's crucial to emphasize is that everything Tesla showcased this time, running capability, balance, and the more dexterous hands, all belong to Optimus 2.5, not the third generation. This is significant because it suggests Tesla is holding back some of Gen 3's capabilities and hasn't revealed them publicly yet. You know, the 2.5 version is a deeply refined upgrade of Optimus Gen 2 with a focus on improving two major areas, mobility and fine hand manipulation. If the new demo in the lab showed that the robot's mechanical electrical control system has become solid enough to handle impact forces during landing, then the Optimus 2.5 hand reveals a capability that very few robots today possess. The finesse of extremely small, precise movements. As we mentioned earlier, Optimus hands could absolutely play the piano or handle tasks that demand a high level of dexterity. The framework and actuators inside the Optimus 2.5 hand have clearly been miniaturized and optimized by Tesla for better torque and faster response time. You know what really matters is that each finger can move independently with three flexible joints, just like a human hand. This finally allows the robot to perform motions humans inherently see as natural, rotating a finger, pressing, pulling, holding thin objects, gripping slippery surfaces and even transferring an item from one finger to another. These movements open up an entirely new category of tasks for Optimus 2.5. With this level of dexterity, the robot can handle a wide variety of functions such as plugging and connectors, sorting small objects, folding clothes, picking vegetables, gripping ultra-thin items, 
and even threading a needle, something Elon Musk has mentioned before. This elevates Optimus beyond just being a robot that can walk and run, bringing it much closer to becoming a truly versatile worker. We are finalizing the design of Optimus version 3 and that that really is going to be a very remarkable robot. Um, it will have the essentially the manual dexterity of a human. So meaning a very complex hand. What really makes us curious is this. If Optimus 2.5 has already reached this level, then the third generation will definitely be even more advanced both in mobility and hand capability. Tesla hasn't released any direct images of Optimus Gen 3 yet because it's set to launch in Q1 next year, possibly in February. But based on their development pace, where they make major upgrades roughly every six months, we can predict that Gen 3 will feature stronger, faster, and more compact hands. It might even be the first version truly qualified for mass production at Giga Texas or Fremont with a capacity of millions of robots per year. Okay, if version 2.5 is already stable enough to run at high speeds without falling, something most humanoid robots struggle with, then Gen 3 is absolutely going to look even more incredible. Tesla is clearly saving its biggest breakthroughs for the official reveal. But through 2.5, they're showing the world that the foundation is already rock solid. This is important because for a robot to run, it has to solve a whole series of extremely difficult problems. Calculating precise running trajectories, controlling force applied to the ground, distributing weight down to fractions of a second, and most importantly, maintaining balance when both feet are off the ground. In other words, running is the ultimate test of the control system's brain, not just mechanical strength. Thanks to this stability, the 2.5 hands finally have the room to showcase their capabilities. A robot with poor balance can't perform delicate tasks because even the slightest shift in its center of mass would throw its whole body off, causing it to fall immediately, just like those Chinese robots. But Optimus 2.5 stands firm, moves smoothly, and its hands remain agile showing that Tesla has successfully unified the full-body sensor feedback system and multi-point control system. More importantly, the capabilities of the hands aren't just a technical flex. They're a clear sign that Optimus is entering the stage where it can actually work in industrial and household environments. A robot that can run to move quickly around a factory, stay balanced for continuous operation, and use its hands to assemble, inspect, and carry small objects— that is exactly the criteria needed to replace humans in repetitive, meticulous, or hazardous tasks. Tesla isn't building a robot that dances or performs tricks. They're building a robot that actually works, and the hands are at the center of all real work. One detail most people overlook, but is actually crucial for the robot's commercial viability is how Optimus charges its battery. In the video of Optimus running, you can see a row of other Optimus units behind it charging. Tesla quietly demonstrated the charging port neatly placed on the robot's back along with a quick and simple plug-in process that doesn't require removing the battery. This setup fits perfectly with factory environments where robots operate continuously and need fast charging. A major advantage Tesla has built over a decade of making electric vehicles. Optimizing the charging workflow also means Tesla is seriously thinking about operating thousands or even millions of robots in real production settings. These positive developments line up with recent news about Tesla expanding its dedicated Optimus manufacturing facilities at Giga Texas. A massive area believed to be designated for a robot factory capable of producing up to 10 million units per year is being cleared and prepared for foundation work. At the same time, a smaller production line with a capacity of 1 million robots per year is being installed in Fremont. These are no longer numbers Tesla throws around for marketing. Reports from Chinese component suppliers and Tesla's hiring of an actuator program manager in Vancouver indicate that the supply chain for Optimus has already begun scaling up with hundreds of actuators, small motors, roller screws, and precision joints needed for every single robot. Building Optimus isn't just assembling a machine. It's creating an entire ecosystem on the scale of the automotive industry, if not bigger. Just recently, Yuluin Chen a former robotics research scientist at Apple, left his position to join Tesla's Optimus team. The ex-Apple engineer praised Tesla's robot program, saying Tesla has the right combination of software, hardware, 
and AI talent to make this real. He said he was completely blown away by the scale and sophistication of the Optimus Lab, as well as the dedication of the people working there when he visited. As we all know, Apple is famous for its extremely selective hiring and its elite AI and robotics teams. For a scientist to leave Apple and publicly say that the Tesla bot astonished him suggests that the Optimus robot may be far more advanced than most observers expect, and that top AI talent now sees Optimus as a serious contender for the future. Overall, this demo video isn't just about showing that the robot can run faster. The mechanical systems are nearing completion. The locomotion is stable enough for running. The hands are precise enough to handle small objects. And the charging system is ready for industrial environments. If Tesla maintains this pace of improvement, Optimus could become the first commercial humanoid robot to truly meet all the criteria, reasonable price, mass production scale, and the ability to replace human labor across many industries. After watching the two latest demo videos, Optimus' role in supporting humans is becoming clearer. Its potential has grown far beyond what we expected. It's no longer just about walking or running smoothly like a human. Optimus is moving toward a much more important role, becoming a homemaker, a fully capable household assistant that can take on everyday tasks that until now only humans could perform with finesse and precision. With its 22 degrees of freedom in the hands, tactile sensors, and finely tuned control systems, Optimus can gently and accurately grasp household items. From folding clothes, washing dishes, and organizing belongings to assisting with cooking or carrying items for the owner, everything's within the range of what its mechanical and AI systems can handle. Its ability to learn autonomously from the real world allows the robot to quickly adapt to a home environment, understand how to interact with objects, and learn the homeowner's habits over time. In addition, Optimus can also assist with tasks that bring even greater value to everyday life, reminding you of schedules, tracking your family's nutritional needs, caring for the elderly or people with limited mobility, and even responding quickly in emergency situations. With its stable posture, increasingly faster movement, and seamless task execution, Optimus isn't just a machine that can work. It's becoming a household companion, ready to take over the small chores so humans can have more time to rest, create, and enjoy life. If Optimus continues developing in the right direction, the concept of a homemaker will no longer be exclusive to humans, it will be shared with robots, opening up a future where every household has a reliable automated assistant. As Musk said, everyone will want an Optimus, maybe even two. It's not any single feature on its own, but the combination of speed, natural running posture, highly dexterous hands, and industrial-grade charging capability that makes Optimus stand out this time. Tesla seems to be turning what was once considered science fiction into an entirely new industry. And this demo video may be remembered as the moment humanoid robots truly began entering human life. Okay, so what impressed you the most about the new Optimus demo? Do you think Tesla will actually start mass production of Optimus by 2026? Thanks for watching Tech Drive. If you enjoyed this breakdown of the latest Optimus demo, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming updates on Tesla's next generation humanoid robot. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We are excited to hear what you think about the future of Optimus. See you in the next video.